Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, first proper video I'm doing today. Uh, just basically running through um, the care that you need to feed and look after and just the, the well-being of your ferrets. So as you can see today, I have three of my gills with me. These, these are my working ferrets, my team of ferrets that I work throughout the winter. They are currently in kit at the moment. They're due next month sometime, so they've got a bit of a belly on them. But yeah, very friendly. So you need to have friendly ferrets. You can't have ferrets that will go around biting you all the time. If you have ferrets that will go around biting you all the time, it's not good. You need to teach them that you are the owner. You are the one that feeds them, looks after them. And they need to respect you. But at the same time, they need to have the same prey drive as a wild ferret would have. So this is this this is one of this is my Sandy Jill. She's one of my best workers. I mean, they're all as good as each other. They all have their they all have their benefits. They all have their their negatives. This here is my my Albino Jill. She's she's going to be she's due uh, before the rest of them are. She's got quite a big belly on her as well, Shane. But yeah, you need to make sure that they're well fed, well water, well watered. They need to have a nice dry environment, they can't have any wet environment, fresh clean water every day, they need to have a nice dry area for bedding, and they need to, they just need to be nice and dry, somewhere where they can sleep, out the draught, food bowls, I'll go through what I feed my ferrets on another video, but yeah, and then I have my third worker down here, my little pole cat Jill, she's also in kit, Lovely workers. They work very well for me. Exceptional workers through the season. But as I said, they all have their they all have their negatives and their positives. So as you can see, it's a nice, nice hutch setup. I got three stories on it. So they'll be in here. Um, just whilst they're in kit, they stay on their own. Um, when they're when they're not in kit. Um, when I'm working them, I will have all three together. I have a larger cage um, on the other side of my garden. Um, uh, but, yeah, they all stay together usually most of the time. Um, this year I've bred them as I want to expand on my, my team of workers. Um, but, no, um, I'll go through a video of what I feed them um, and preparation for coming up to ferreting. Uh, getting our prey driving instinct back into the ferrets before we take them up for their first for, for their first outing. Um, but as you can see, my ferrets are very happy. They're, they're they're ever so friendly. But as soon as it comes to as soon as it comes to going out, they know exactly what they need to do, and uh, they'll do their job, and they'll catch the nuisance rabbits that uh, I've been contracted. To, uh, to take care of. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, please subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and click that little bell notification.